Well, here in field, if we go to field, we have add table field, add calculated field, conditional field, remove field, settings, and field table. Now, let's say add table field is the same as this one. Let's remove item first. Let's remove it from here. Go to field and remove field. Do you want to remove it? Yes. So remove field, do the same as this one. And add field does the same as this one. Let's add item again. We go to field, add table field, and here it is. Let's put it up again and go to fields again. And here we have also settings. What setting does is we click on the field that we want and we can change the settings for each field. For this one, we can uh, change the setting for the column description, the column width, if we want the alignment to be left, right, or center in that column, and so on. Because this is string, so you see that the column format here is not working. And OK. Now for the, for example, the price and purchase order and order quantity, they are numbers. So if we try to say settings, you see that here the column format is already open. Here the column description that we can change it. And here we can change the column format. If we want it to be the decimal to be 0 0.00 or four zeros or however we want it to be with a a thousand uh, comma and so on and so on it's defined as it defined on ban okay and once we print the result it should show us as we changed it to change the settings and finally we have here for example the item the item here if we go to field and field tables it will show us the table that it is from if we forgot what it's called, what uh, or we don't remember the table name, so we can click here. If we want to change it back, we can just go again here and field table, and we change it back.